and welcome back to Lee Reader. My name is Lee, if you hadn't already guessed, and today I'm doing a book review. Now this review is going to be spoiler free because the book isn't actually released yet, but it is being released at the end of this week and I'm so, so excited to tell you about it because it is a great, great book. So the book I am reviewing today is The Rest of Us Just Live Here by Patrick Ness. Now I got this book through as a proof from work and I was so excited when it turned up because I'd never admittedly read any of Patrick Ness's work and I thought this was the perfect time to give it a go because I'd heard good things about Patrick Ness's stuff and oh my god, this book is so good. I cannot believe I'd never read anything by Patrick Ness because this book was just brilliant. I've since gone back and read more of his stuff and they were all brilliant as well and oh my god it's so good. Like I'm having trouble putting into words how good this book is. I was so happy and elated when I finished it and just it was just brilliant. It's such a good read. Now the book follows a guy called Mikey and his friends who are just going about their end of school lives. You know, they're heading to prom, they want to do their exam, they're all going to college, but they want to do it before the school blows up. Again. Now Mikey and his friends live in a town where a crap ton of supernatural things happen. I'm talking ghosts, vampires, werewolves, you name it, it has happened. But it doesn't happen to Mikey and his friends. Mikey and his friends are just a normal group of teenagers who are trying to get on with life while all this supernatural rubbish is going on around them. And this is why I love the book. At the start of every chapter of this book there is a short summary of the supernatural things happening in their town at that moment. And it's really funny because you know what's about to happen and the characters don't, and it's genius how it's done. The supernatural things keep happening to the same bunch of indie kids, who are all relatively similar, who have all kind of got the same name, but it always happens to them. It doesn't happen to Mikey and all the other normal people living in the town. It always happens to the indie kids. And that's what I love about the book, because it's kind of making fun of a YA trope in terms of the supernatural element, but it's a YA book. This is a YA book, and it is making fun of other YA books, and it is genius. What I love as well is how the book delves into the art of relationships, including friendships, uh, romantic relationships, family, and it breaks them down because everything that happens to these people is things that have probably happened to you in real life, whether it's things that have been construed the wrong way, things that have played out differently than you thought. It just works, and it's it's so good. It's so, so well written. The book also deconstructs the stigma that around certain mental disability. This one in particular is obsessive compulsive disorder, which is something that Mikey, the main character, suffers with. And the way it's done is just wonderful, because as someone who has suffered with obsessive compulsive disorder, the way it was broken down and the way it's looked at was just it was one like it was beautiful because it makes so much sense and it, to get inside someone else's head who suffers from that was just brilliant i really can't rate this book high enough it is such a wonderful read it's got brilliant characters it's got a brilliant storyline it deals with things in a beautiful way patrick ness is just a beautiful beautiful writer in general and i'm so excited for you guys to check this book out it is going to be massive it's it's just wonderful overall i'm going to give the book Five out of five stars. The book to me is just wonderful. It is well written, really, really great characters. It really drives home some certain aspects of real life, which I thought was just brilliant. Um, certain aspects of the book are also brilliantly dealt with. It's just beautiful. Patrick Ness is just a beautiful writer. And please go and check it out when it's released because you guys seriously won't regret it. So that's it for today's video. Let me know your thoughts if you have read the book or if you haven't, if you're going to go and check it out. I highly, highly recommend it. It's going to be a great, great book. I think it's going to be huge. I'm so excited for you guys to check it out. And that's it for today's video. I hope you guys are well and I'll see you on Thursday with a brand new video. Goodbye. End of the video bit. So yes, I loved this book. Please go and check it out when it is released. I know it's released at the end of the week here in the UK and I think it's got a bit later publishing date for other parts of the world. But go and check it out once it's released because it's such it's such a wonderful book and I just can't recommend it highly enough. It's it's so good. It is so good. So go and check it out. I hope you guys are well. I hope you've all had wonderful, wonderful weekends and I'll see you next week with a brand new uh, Thursday even with a brand new video. Goodbye.